It's me Sam and welcome to my latest shopping haul. I have once again, I want to say I've been out and blowing my brains because I really, really have not. So that's not the case at all. But I have been to Poundland and I've also been to Asta. And I'm, I'm just going to show you basically what I bought from there. Might as well start off with Asta and get the food shopping out of the way because it's on the kitchen side and some of it's frozen. And if I don't get it in the freezer soon, it's going to defrost and we don't want that now, do we? So let's get the food stuff from Asta out of the way. Okay, so I, like I said, I'm, I'm going to get the freezer stuff done first and I can whack it in the freezer and it won't defrost. And um, the first two things I'm going to show you are from Asta's Meat Free range. Now, last year, me and Jessica tried quite a few of their Meat Free range frozen foody stuff and it was really really nice so obviously i need to try and save money so these are like i mean the vegetarian so they're good for you to start off. but the really good thing i like about these is the fact that you can get two things for two pound fifty so the first thing i picked up was their meat free meatballs these are their tempting sweet alternative Perfect with a rich and herby tomato sauce. Now I love meatballs as it is in pasta sauce. So my thoughts are, even if just a bit want it, uh, I I can obviously get it in the freezer. So depending on how many I would like to have, for example, with the, min with the meal, I can just cut a few out and leave them to defrost and then cook them up later on in the day. So I picked up rolls. And I think they normally retail that, let me just check, £1.50. And the other thing that I picked up was their veg vegetarian cauliflower cheese crispy grills. These are so, so nice. And you get four of them in a box. Four. They normally retail at also £1.50. But as I said, you get two for £2.50. So it's a saving of... 50 pence so that's not bad really well i don't think so anyway so i've got those the other thing that i picked up in the freezer bit was these extra special caramelized red onion pork sausages now these were being sold as part of their christmas range foodie stuff and uh, i think they were retailing normally at three pound fifty and they knocked them down to a quid so I was like, oh my goodness, me and Jess, we love our sausages, we do indeed, we do like a bit of meat in the mouth. That can't so wrong, ignore that, just, just, yeah, let's not ever go there. But we do like our sausages with some mash and sweet corn. And oh, so that's another meal sorted. And the final thing that I picked up from their freezer bit was this family broccoli and cauliflower cheese now i've bought this before and it's so nice cost one pound fifty but it's worth it because i only denied about getting it and i thought well maybe i should get the fresh one which is just the cauliflower cheese for the same price but you don't get it as much and this is so tasty anyway and plus i can keep it in the freezer so it's not going to go off so that's what i got for the freezer one of the things I really needed to get while I was in Bromsgrove for Master was some more milk. So I picked up their four pints of semi-skimmed milk, which is one pound nine pence. I've gone back to drinking it. Yeah, me and me um, healthy ways don't last very long. I mean, I still have got some of that coconut and almond milk that I bought from Holland and Boat, but it's not going to last forever. And semi-skimmed milk's not that bad it's not like it's the full fat so uh, i don't really have issues really with it but needed milk so got milk looking in their reduced bits because i always love to look in their reduced bits because you find some really good buy sometimes for example in their fruit and veg reduced bin i found these chilies mixed chilies so you've got some green ones and you've got some red ones and that one doesn't look too great. That one might have to go in the bin. But I'm telling you I'm doing a bit of a chilly one night, so I can whack those in there. 
and they were originally 50 pence and reduced to 10p so yeah and i also picked up mushrooms i love mushrooms just love mushrooms you can have mushrooms raw or cut or whatever and these were 68p and they've knocked them down to 20 pence so yeah and then i went and looked in the fresh food reduced bin and it annoys me because unless you go quite late at night just before the closing and that's when they actually do knock down the price on the stuff quite a lot more than what it is things aren't really worth getting because they haven't really been reduced that much but i came across these pimentier potatoes with smoked bacon and they're normally two quid and i've reduced it down to 154 and i love these these are so so yummy they really are yum honestly so i picked those up and we'll have them with something at some point i would have thought I'm now going to move on to the fresh well not fresh cupboard food as i like to call it and um first thing that i picked up now as they have their smart price range where things are sold considerably less than the branded range is the first thing i'm going to show you is this mild curry sauce yes it's mild oh didn't know that it's got salt time isn't it i'm gonna to have to sift through it now Ugh. i didn't know there was salt time oh no 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 but anyway it was 28 pence 28 pence for this curry sauce and in for me just do like our curry is kind of hot i've got some curry powder in the cupboard so what i'm going to do once i've sifted the sultanas out of it i will add some more curry powder to it to heat it up a little bit and then nice cheap meal i've got shit loads of chicken breast in the freezer so instant curry sorted also from their smart price range i picked up some passata this was 35 pence weirdly enough the same price as their branded one which makes no sense whatsoever but there's not wrong with it nothing wrong with it whatsoever and the reason why i bought that is because i was thinking well i can make my own pasta sauce to go with those meatballs and at the same time i can use this to make some to make a chili con carne one night because i bought some minced meat the other day and that's in the freezer but chili con carne win-win situation nice warm feeling exactly what you need on these cold wintry nights and to also accompany the passata sauce to make the chili con carne i picked up their sauce mix which cost 29 pence so that's that and we've actually and, and when you have chili con carne one of the most essential things you have to have is rice and the rice i did want to get was sold out it's like a long grain rice it's normally 89p something like that but i haven't got none so i thought you know what stop being a snob let's have a look at their smart price rice uh, this is it it's their long grain rice and this was 45 pence so basically half the price of the rice that i wanted to get and increasingly i left more in the bag as well so this is going to last ages absolutely ages picked up some more bananas we love our bananas whether they go in smoothies or in what is my latest breakfast thing yummy yum yum stuff overnight oats oh my god oh my god peanut butter and banana overnight no, overnight oats oh my god guys it's so tasty so so tasty see yes bananas are always an essential and these cost 90 pence and you get five bananas and because i've got this love now for overnight oats in fact jess has got some quaker oats that she bought herself last week i can't justify keep pinching them off her because she likes to have them herself in the morning for breakfast so i have treated myself to a bag of oats it's come from a company called mournflake it's a mighty oats creamy super fast oats perfect for porridge or in my case overnight oats so i think it was more the packaging that enticed me into buying them but they cost 79 pence you get 500 grams so it's going to last quite a bit of time so 
sorted and the last thing that I picked up for the third also once again from as the smart price range and it's their lightly salted tortilla chips I absolutely love these they're bad well what I say sometimes I make myself like um I don't know what to call it but basically I'll get some salsa and I get the the the, the, the oh, 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 I can't remember it's called that this stuff Doritos nacho cheese and basically I mix that together a, a crumble and bit of tortillas in and I stir it all in then I get some jello pepinos add those break some cheese into it melt it over the top very unhealthy but delicious snack and I should maybe have got some more of that because it's not a lot left but oh, I love this stuff very calorific but I still love it and I don't know if I said how much they were 46 pay, I think yeah 46 pence so once again I probably saved about 50 pence because tortilla chips are normally about a pound or maybe a little bit more but I love those ones nothing wrong with them whatsoever now that lot came to £11.45 not a great well, quite quite good for me because normally I, I, I spend a lot lot a lot a lot, lot more than that. Now the next lot of things that I'm going to show you, I didn't actually buy today. I bought them at the beginning of the week. I bought them on actually on Tuesday, and I was going to do a little mini haul and show them separately. And then I thought, well, there's no point. I might just do it all together, and I've done with it. If you've been watching any mail, any of my other hauls and my spend a day vlog with me um you would have heard me mention <clears throat> about a shower curtain i bought for the bathroom and the fact that i was going to decorate the bathroom all day yesterday i actually spent the day i spent the day painting my bathroom my bathroom is now the same color as what you can see on this wall here behind me so it's a light pastel green kind of color Oh, I'm so proud of myself, guys. I really am. It looks so different. Just having a slap of paint on the walls to change it, it's wow. I mean, I've completely stripped everything out of the bathroom. There's hardly anything in there apart from our tough brushes and tough paste, and that's it. Um, but if you'd seen the shower curtain, you will also have known that um, I picked up a soap dispenser and a tough brush holder from Poundland. Now Jessica told me that um, the ones that matched my shower curtain in our had been reduced. So that was ideally what I was looking for on Tuesday when I went back down to Asda and I found them and I've been reduced even more. So here's the tough brush order. They've reduced this to 75 pence. And the soap dispenser had been reduced to £1.50.50. One pound fifty. <laughs> Basically, my bathroom is going to look muchy muchy. It is. I couldn't but not get those for that price. So got them. I've come across these uh, tea lights, the scented ones, and the scented of spiced apple. It's a sweet apple room it's with a whisper of warming spices. They last eight hours, and they do. They actually do because I've. Got I've opened it and I've had one out and I've tried it out and it did last eight hours. In fact, it still hasn't run out. It hasn't. But these normally retail for about two pounds and I reduced them to 40 pence. I had to have them. And my final bargain that I found on Tuesday. Oh my God, I can't believe I even found this. They had quite a few quilt covers that were being reduced. And the one that I was going to get was nice. But then I came across this one and it's for my bed. It fits my bed. It's a king size quilt cover and pillowcase set. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like it's called the Bright Butterfly. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I paid £4.50 for this. £4.50 for a king size quilt and pillowcase set. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I had to have them. So I bought them home with me. And I can't wait to get these on my bed now. I really can't. However, I could do with actually finding a, a sheet that's going to match it. Because these have the quilts with a purple colour. I think I've got one somewhere. 
we'll have to have a look but this next thing I'm going to show you actually isn't from Asda and it isn't from Poundland and I bought this on Tuesday um, I love going in charity shops nothing wrong with thrift shopping whatsoever and um, I always go into this one particular charity shop next door to our Iceland here in Bromsgrove and they have like a rail that they put outside and everything on that rail is reduced really really cheaply now Jessica had borrowed my jumper that day it's like a beige kind of colour from Primark and it's a bit big because obviously it fits me and I'm a fatty compared to her I actually came across the very same jumper but in Jessica's size and I was like oh my goodness and it was 99 pence and I was like <laughs> oh, I need to get that for her. So I bought her that jumper. She was so mad. She couldn't believe I'd done that. It's like, look, it's the same jumper. She so you can start pinching mine. And this one will fit you. Also, while I was in the charity shop, I came across this handbag. And I paid £1.99 for it. And I just liked the tassels on it. I don't know why. I just did. Now let's be, this, this, this bag is originally from Primark. So I've checked inside and I can see the labelling. But just, I like the design of it. In fact, you can open it up. Here you go. Pop kit there as well. You can keep your keys if you want to. And you open it up. It's very nice and deep. It's got another pocket inside where you can stash stuff if you want. And there's even a pocket inside for your mobile phone, so I couldn't but not have it. And I just liked it, and I just thought, yeah, you're coming on with me. You are. You are indeed. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to show you what I bought from Poundland today. Now, I did plan to go into Poundland today because of a few little bits and bobs I'd seen in there on Tuesday. And I really wanted to get them for the bathroom. Okay, simple as that. So, first thing I is going to show you that I got from Poundland. All these yogurts. These are Muller's Simply Bliss Whipped Greek Style Strawberry Yogurts. Obviously, because they're from Poundland, they cost a pound. But not everything in Poundland costs a pound anymore. They are indeed getting a little bit crafty. They're now selling things for about two quid or fiver. But, yeah. These were a pound. Uh, I love these yogurts. Jess loves these yogurts. So uh, to just get wax in the fridge and we'll eat them. Simple as that. I wanted to get another e-juice while I was in there for my favour because obviously I can't afford to spend the amount of money that I normally do with my e-juices. And I've used these before in the past and isn't that wrong with them at all. I'm for a pound. Go figure. And um, this time I picked up their red cola e-liquid. So that will keep me going. Next thing I'm going to show you, obviously, is for the bathroom. Now, obviously, when the bathroom's finished, I will show you guys the end result because I want to show it off. I will, I will indeed. And I came across this. It's called a swish, swish hanging fish. And I know exactly where I'm putting this. I do indeed. So pick that up. <laughs> One thing I really, really wanted to get for the bathroom was this mirror. Now, I'd seen it on Tuesday and I thought, oh my God, that would be absolutely perfect. Now, we've already got a mirror in the bathroom as it is, but it's not going to match. It just won't. This one, however, which they call their take a look hanging mirror, is frigging perfect simply because there's nothing to it. It's just a mirror. It is just a mirror. Simple as what so oh yes i'm looking pretty fine today oh no so that's for the bathroom also for the bathroom i picked up this bathroom plaque it says keep it clean bathroom plaque it says wash brush floss and flush so that is more than likely going to go above the toilet or something like that and i also picked up another plaque and this one's called the, uh, oh, it's also keep it clean. But it says, grab a towel, bath soap, light a candle, enjoy a soak. So, I'm not quite sure exactly where in the bathroom it's going to go, but I will find a spot for it. I will indeed. Okay, the next item I'm going to show you, I actually seen in another YouTube, Poundland Hall this morning, 
that I watched. And I saw, because I've, I've seen these, but they're like the bigger ones. And you only get the one. With these, you get two. A two pack, the A6 size notepads. But these are more ideal for me because it's something I can just like slip in my handbag. And I love writing notes. I'm addicted to writing notes. I have notepads here. They're a little red. I've still got these ones that Jess bought me for Christmas. Or should I say, Dad bought me for Christmas. I haven't even opened them yet. I've got this one down here that I bought from Primark sometime last year. That I mean, it's, some pages are used, but it's it's near enough. Still brand spanking I don't know. So, mm. but it can join the others. And the final thing that I picked up from Powerline, now this cost me £2, and I did mean to get some while I was in town, but from Asda, but I thought, hey, I'm saving a quid here, Jasmine needs some more cat food, so I got her some cat food, this is whiskers, this is the casserole poultry selection, in jelly, we've got chicken, duck, poultry and turkey, it's cat food, I know that Miss Jasmine loves this, so she'll be happy and I'm happy because I saved a pound and that's it guys it's basically everything that I bought today from Poundland and as uh, and also what I bought the other day as well thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I really need to stop spending money and doing shopping hauls but I can't help it I just can't somebody help me please like I said this, um, once my bathroom's redone once I've accessorised it and whatever else because this afternoon i'm going to be spending the day giving it a really bloody good scrubbing down so that needs to be done and then once it's done then i can start putting things back in there and making it look all pretty like a bathroom should mm. if you enjoyed the video guys please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to say anything if you've got any comments you'd like to leave please do so by leaving them down below as per usual and, and that's it guys i'm going to do one so I guess the last thing really for me to say is that if you're new to watching my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come and join my family. I've met Etsy here. And um, especially after I received an email from YouTube yesterday morning basically saying that if I don't reach a thousand subscribers before 20th of February, my videos will no longer be monetized. This does not make me happy because I'm not a big time YouTuber, I don't come on here every day, I mean I love doing what I do, I love entertaining you guys and you know it's a passion of mine, it's something I've been doing now for centuries, I've been on YouTube basically from when it first started, so it's a bit annoying that this has been sent to me, especially with the fact that it took me long enough to get my vlogs and videos monetized in the first place and that other stating that you have to have a certain amount of minutes for views and you've got to have this many subscribers and I just think it's so so wrong because us small time YouTubers are just not going to get a look in whereas all these big time YouTubers will I, I just I don't agree with it I'm not happy about it if you have, have thoughts on it maybe you can leave them in the comments up to you guys but I am now going to do one because I want to go and have some lunch I'm absolutely starving. It's like nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't ate yet today, so I need some food in my belly. You take care. I shall see you all soon. And until I do, bye for now. Mwah.